In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a alternate signature that can be used simply by typing in a code word or phrase in the subject line. So for example, if Nigel sends Lewis an email and he says this is my normal signature, hello and sends the email. One email's been sent to Lewis, but if he sends another email to Lewis, says my alternate signature. Oops, I guess I need to spell this right. And I type in the phrase AZ Office, which is a code to let Crossword Mail Signature know that I want to change the signature and now my alternate signature is used. So send and now we'll go over to Lewis's email. Here's his normal, which is ex example from the Royal Caribbean. And then if I hit F9 and my alternate, you can see that it's changed and the AZ office was removed from the subject line as well. So how did we do this? Well, first of all, I set up a rule. So this is Nigel's other office. If I open this up, I give it a description name. It's an advanced notes formula, and I just said, add if this email is from Nigel and the subject line contains AZ office, then that rule will then be true, and the, the, that signature would be applied. And I've created a separate signature so Nigel's other office and I've used a rule here versus assigning it to a person group or a default so the rule and then I selected Nigel's other office rule that I created and now since that rang true it then applied the signature now there's one other option I need to set to clear out the keyword phrase from the subject line and I do that with an email modifier which I have created and then I selected here. That modifier is this. It's in the admin areas. So I created an email modifier called remove Nigel signature tag and I added a modifier item and it simply gave it a name. I selected the other field option. I select regular expression versus a name lookup. I tell it that I'm looking for the subject field and I'm looking for AZ office, the phrase AZ office, and then here you can't see it but I just simply put in a space and then I saved and validated and it replaces the AZ office with a space and that's how we end up with the second signature without the phrase. So simple to do. There's a, a couple of different variations you can do while changing signatures. I could also create a smart icon that would set a hidden field in the background, and I believe we've shown that in another video, but this is just one way to do it.